there appears to be a growing number of Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus owners with Bluetooth problems after an Android 12 update. If you're one of these unlucky S10 users who experiences Bluetooth issue right after installing Android 12, learn what you can do to fix this problem by following this video. Many cases of Bluetooth problems on Samsung Galaxy devices are fixed simply by turning the functionality on and off. By doing this, you are refreshing the connection between the two devices. On your S10, just select the Bluetooth icon by pulling down the notification bar, then tapping the icon to turn Bluetooth on and off. Once you've done that, you also need to turn off Bluetooth service on the other device. After a few moments, try to re-establish the connection and see how it goes. Some Bluetooth devices may fail to maintain a connection or may misbehave if low on power. Be sure that the device you're trying to connect to your Galaxy S10 is charged. To be on the safe mode, try charging it fully before reconnecting it to your Galaxy S10. This way you'll know if the problem is due to poor power management or weak battery. If your S10 started showing Bluetooth issues after installing Android 12 update, it's likely that the software overhaul may have corrupted the system cache. This cache is important for Android as it's used to speed up uploading times. Without a good working system cache, your Android may act sluggishly every time you open an app. Having a corrupted system cache can also lead to all sorts of issues, including connection problems. To check if your Bluetooth issue is caused by a bad cache, you'll want to clear the cache partition. It definitely won't hurt if you try to regularly check for wrap updates. In most carrier-branded phones, this task is usually automated as the Play Store is set to automatically download app updates. If you modify this Play Store behavior, you can check for app updates manually as well. The first thing that you want to do is easy, force quit Bluetooth app. This is an effective way to fix certain types of app bugs. If force closing Bluetooth won't help and it still continues crashing on your Galaxy S10, it's a good idea to continue troubleshooting the app by wiping its cache. Apps keep a certain set of temporary files in order to do tasks more efficiently. Sometimes, an app cache may become corrupted causing the app to misbehave. This is a more drastic troubleshooting step than the previous two and will revert Bluetooth up to its original factory state. This means that all Bluetooth configuration in this app will be erased. Since the original factory default state of apps are usually free from new bugs, this might help in fixing your problem. Another important troubleshooting step that you want to do in this case is to reset all network settings. This troubleshooting step will clear all non-default network settings and hopefully clear potential bugs. Some apps, including system apps, like Bluetooth requires default system apps in order to work. Sometimes, these default apps may be turned off by other apps or after some system changes, like after an update. Having even just one bad third-party app can cause a problems. As maintaining an app is costly and time-consuming, not all apps may receive timely updates from developers. It's possible that one of your apps may have become incompatible with your new Android 12 update, causing the current Bluetooth problems. To check if you have a bad third-party app is the reason why you have S10 Bluetooth problems after installation of Android 12 update, you can reboot your S10 to safe mode. By restarting your Galaxy S10 to safe mode, all third-party apps will be blocked, grayed out. If your Bluetooth works normally only when your S10 is on safe mode, you can bet a bad third-party app is to blame.
If your case is that the phone is not booting up or it boots but settings menu is inaccessible, this method can be helpful. First, you need to boot the device to recovery mode. Once you successfully access recovery, that's the time that you begin proper master reset procedure. It may take some tries for you before you can access recovery, so be patient and simply try again. That's it. We hope this video is helpful to you. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.